Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. In today's episode, it's 5 p.m. You know, I actually woke up a little later today, maybe uh, back to normal, who knows. Woke up at like 11.30, which is good. I've been waking up at like 9, which is not good. I'm going to bed at like 4. Not good for me, I imagine. But either way, how you doing? How's it going? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I should record this at the start of my day. I really feel like I should, but, you know start my day I'm like I'll record monster I'm just gonna play something real quick I just like a quick something while I wake up and then it's 5 p.m. but I'm good today thanks for asking hope you're well that's it nothing else I'm, I'm fine nothing to tell you uh 20 minutes till dawn I was gonna put a video of that up today but I did not uh, I will or sorry today as in today for me maybe I will put one up tomorrow as in today for you keep an eye out for that and I don't know, I'm kind of on the lookout for something else to do a series on. I gotta get Braid going. Maybe that, you know what, after this I'm gonna start working on Braid. That's it, final answer. I just have to make a thumbnail and set it to upload. But, you know, it's a whole ordeal always. Mm. At this today. What a shame. Did I tell you I put up a new poll? I think I told you I, I did tell you I put up a new poll. If you didn't hear about that, there's a new poll going for Monster Train. It's your least favorite champion path. Go check that out and vote in it if you haven't. It's just fun. I, you know, there's no prize or anything. I'm not going to do anything with the poll results. I just think it's fun to ask and see what you guys think. Big Sludge won by a lot for favorite big unit. I was surprised because I thought it'd be Glug Cider for sure. But yeah, what, do you, what, what do you know? The silent majority wins it. All right, let's get rolling. Uh, let me ask you a question first, I suppose. I gotta get the analytics up. It has helped greatly. I've been watching the analytics. They've been rising quite a bit lately. Monster Train seems to be having a bit of a surge, which is cool. It has been having one for a while, I should say. Uh, today I want to ask you... Uh, what's your favorite thing that you've made homemade from scratch? Now, uh, from scratch, you know, you can take whatever level of that you want. I'm not gonna fault you. Like, for example, I'm gonna say Alfredo sauce. I like making Alfredo sauce a lot because it's easy and it tastes good. However, uh, if you want to get technical, you know, I'm not making my own heavy cream for that. I'm not making my own butter. So is it really from scratch? I don't know. I used box noodles, but I'm not talking about the fettuccine part, just the sauce itself, you know? I didn't grow the black pepper. How do you get black pepper? It's a plant, right? I have no idea. Add that to the list of things I'm going to do after this episode. And you're going to like, comment, subscribe. That's on your list to do. Uh, Stygian, Exile, Wormkin, Double Barrel, Curse, Sap, Ice Tornado, Bounding Echoes, Cuddle Hex. Cuddle Hex? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. I love it. I do not love it. And it's going to the Blacksmith. I'm not taking Concussive Coals. I hate Concussive Coals. I think it's very bad. We have Ice Tornado, so I can probably pick Conduit here and play. Yeah, the Conduit's really good because we have Echo Break, Frozen Lance. It should be fine. Uh, am I so fine as to take this artifact? I mean, it's probably okay. Ulti Loader is really good here. It makes it so that the punishment for taking this artifact should be much lower. A unit draft for Armor Time. Uh, this is way too aggro, but I'm banking a lot on... My spell is here. I'm also banking a lot on this first wave being the one with the infusion, which I don't think it can- Oh, look at that. How nice. How lovely is that? Now, there's no reason to play bottom floor. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start throwing echo breaks at this guy. If I throw echo breaks at him enough, he'll die eventually. Trust. And I, in the perfect world here, in the perfect world, I'm going to pull... Uh, doesn't matter. In, in the perfect world here, I'm going to pull Ice Tornado on this turn. And I did not. The world is not perfect. How sad. I'm probably going to take 18 for that draw. And, I, like, it factored into my decision to even take this trial was my idea that... I would probably be able to kill an infused enemy with Ice Tornado. However, uh, with Faulty Loader, it's even even less of an issue, I would say. I'm just going to take 18 for the trial, which, you know, sucks, but arguably is probably going to be worth it. Now, with a really bad Ice Tornado roll here... Uh, that one's fine. With a really bad Ice Tornado roll, that could have been bad. But, 
It's fine, we're fine. And I take two here. I am going to have to... Well, I guess there's... No, there is a good reason to play Ice Tornado now. I just have to take the weight of Contrition damage. The reason is I could draw Ice Tornado again on this turn, and I would like to play that here. Indeed. My man is healing. What the hell? Oh, because he kills this train steward in one hit. So he's, yeah, he's actually just getting 12. Man. That's intense. Am I dead? I don't think so, but... You know, it was a little, a little, a little bit much, I would say. Really, it was just that 18, right? If I drew Ice Tornado a turn sooner, taking 20 for that trial would have been no problem. But 38's a little bit rough. Uh, I stand by my decision because Ice Tornado being in the bottom draw is just unfortunate, right? Two cards in the bottom seven. It can happen, obviously, but I don't think it was particularly likely. Again, you can do the math. I don't know it. I will never learn it. I'll take Echo Transfer here. Fog Beep Cocoon. Trample Sweep in this economy? That's pretty good. I'm down. We go left, we find a Sweeper, we give it Trample. Multi Strike, hey, you want to show me a Sweeper here? Oh yeah, Icy Silophyte? Sure, sure. Give it a little Multi Strike. Now... If I could do the infusion right now, I would have absolutely no fear. As it sits, I have a little bit of fear being at 2 HP. Just a little. Just a touch, because Bog Deep Kuhn is a curse. And my carry is 10 HP, right? So, with those things in mind, I should probably take a plus 25, because I think I'll die if I don't. Now, the downside to that, of course, is that my, up my upward scaling of defense is very bad to non-existent for the divinity, but... I'm gonna have to answer that with cards. That's just how it is. I'm gonna have to answer that with sap or something of the like. Because if I don't take that plus 25, I am almost certain I die in this combat. Like quick would have been ideal, right? Right. The best uh, the best case there was quick. Uh, like maybe you roll for it, and no, I couldn't even afford to roll for it. So never mind. But yeah, it's a shame that it has to be like this, but. It has to be like this. If there was a if there was a temple here, I would have done the opposite. I would have played this out completely differently. No problems. But alas. And you could even argue that maybe I should have just gone for... Or maybe I should have greeted. But I think that Sweet Boss annihilates me at 10 HP here. feel pretty confident in that, actually. I would go a little further than I think. I am almost certain that I'd die. Ethos has to kill. Fine. Now, if I don't draw... Never mind. That line completely gone. I was gonna say, if I don't draw Echo Transfer, we're still in trouble, but I drew it. You should play Echo Break first here. Makes it slightly more likely that I get that Fit Forge Disciple. And, yeah, I would have just died here. <laughs> I can take zero. So, my unit does 32. Oh, that's not enough, is it? That's not enough. All right, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm dead. All right, all right, all right. I think I die here. Oh yeah, there is no way, right? No chance I survive this. Let's see. You get five rounds. Five times thirty-two is one fifty. Well, it's been a pleasure, team. It has been a pleasure. But I am going to end up just shy here, it seems. 165. Oh, it's so close, man. Look at that. I'm off by 11. I try it again, I try it again. I put a little too much stock in... I put a little too much stock in the plus 15, I guess, but, you know, I was feeling good. So I want to analyze a secondary line here. Uh, I'm sure you can guess. I want to think about trying to hatch the cocoon. 
How do you feel about that idea? How likely does it seem that I could get this thing out? I have to get 12, uh, 12 shell. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. So let me try this idea. And the tech is to play Cuddle Hex, I think. And then just use him as my Echo Break target here. I think it's doable because of Icy Scylla fight on mid floor. Here like this, right? Because then I just get to, like, this next wave dies to Ice Tornado, it's no problem. But then the curses come in and it really hits you hard. But I get the Bounding Echoes, these cards, which is what really sets it apart. And we're at five. And with the Ice Tornado, I'm okay, right? That's the thing. this doesn't matter. And then I, I have a Bounding Echoes. Okay, I think that this is actually the winning line. Which is cool, it's fun to actually... I think it's worth replaying something like this just to see that line happen, you know? I think that's cool. Oh no, he doesn't hatch in time! No! I'm one short! No! I can't energy siphon up here, man! Oh my god, that's so sad. Are you kidding me? Because he gets killed by High Priest. What the hell, man? That is actually so sad. Come on. Oh my god. Uh. What, a, what a shame. Alright, so, new plan, new plan, new plan. It's still survivable. All we have to do here now to live is we have to hit the 1 in 12 to pull an Ice Tornado. This is actually depressing. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's so sad. I thought I had it. Oh. What a shit game. Fuck you, Monster Train. That was gonna be cool, man. Alright. Uh, I guess I took too many pack shards, but like, come on. I got very unlucky to lose that, I feel. Taking that 18, because if I don't take that 18 from the from the 9 times 2 it's okay. Like, a lot of things went wrong for us to lose that run. I think that's the sort of run where I played that correctly for the style that I am playing this game in. It just, you low, I low rolled one too many times and it killed me. And that's how it's gonna go when I play like this, right? There's no fighting out of that position, it's just gonna be like that sometimes, where you go, yeah, I played greedy, and uh, I, like, basically all I did is I didn't play to the, okay, so if I bottom deck both ice tornadoes and the first enemy is infused on the first combat, then I lose, right? And I don't really plan around that. I never have. And sometimes it goes like that, and you go, man, that's really sad, because I almost got out anyway. But, whatever. It's fine, I guess. It's not fine, Monster Train. I can't believe this shit, man. But no, I really do. I stand by playing it all like that. I think that that is the correct way to go about everything. Because, you know, I think you can ignore, in like a majority of the runs you would play there, you would get out of that fight. In the majority of those runs, you finish that combat, you go to... It's even down to if the temple had... Uh, if there was a temple instead of a money there, it would have been fine too. Like, there's a whole lot of little things that change in that run. And any one of them changing shapes the run into our favor. Anyway, now we get to play Holdover Infused Echo Infusion, so... That's cool. How about First of Kin? Not First of Kin, uh, the other one. No, not you, First of Kin. I could take Bog Chrysalis. It's like... I mean, I have to pick one of these, right? Probably first of kin is better for just surviving. 3055. I don't need any of this. I'm just gonna take zero. We're gonna play the boring way now. We're gonna play the no pack shards opener because you gotta. Monster Train said no. Monster Train said no to me today, so now we gotta play the boring line. 
And if we lose this one, then it's just really a doomed day. We take no pack shards, we just sit here on our hands for a while and we go, yeah. Thank you, Monster Train, for letting me play. It's okay, I'm not mad. I take one here, it's a force take. I don't think you can stop that one. I'll live. Sure. A sap is actually completely worthless, but... Yeah, first of kin has enough health to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with High Priest. Two High Priests when I'm starting with Tethys, by the way. What the hell? Come on, Monster Train. Take Crypt Builder, take Shelter, Eel Gorgon? Sure. He comes with a plus 10, which is fine with me. Uh, we can give him the etch plus 5 and then just fill up on consumes and that's probably okay. Or I can give him in camp plus 1 plus 1. We'll see what we see. Rage is definitely not the right answer. In here. Build a card. Buff effect. Uh, give me... Give me a nothing. And money. Yeah, plus 10 attack, plus 20 gold. Sure, that's probably the card I'm going to duplicate now. Although, I might need to play 3 Echo Infusions. Where's my next duplicate? How far away? It's here. That's fine. You got a spell chain for me? Cool. Now we just we spell chain echo infusion, we play two of that card. And we're chilling. And I'm gonna think about this Eel Gorgon first of kin thing. Because plus five on consume is good, but I don't have a whole lot of consume right now. So and the big thing is it doesn't give any defensive capabilities, right? That's the problem there. And I also am going to 50 pack shards if I take that right now. So all around not very useful. I would say, you can't press space to hit okay, you have to hit enter. Weird. Anyway, I'm not even gonna play Yogorgon in this combat. Not on top floor. I'm just gonna let first of kin do it. No reason not to just kill these guys. You'll probably hurt me. Also, probably instead of Incant, it would be better for me to get First of Can as the Infusion, because I have a lot of purples for this deck. Like, a lot of purples here. Just keep going, plus 10. Uh, I'm gonna get hit. It's just kinda... I've accepted it. I'm gonna take damage here, and it's fine. Tethys dies because, of course, Tethys dies. I should keep Tethys alive. I like to let Tethys die sometimes just because, like, you know, come on, Tethys, play the game. But also, I probably keep Tethys alive here. I'll save myself one HP. And this is not damage that I care about. It's like, what, 9? It's 13. Whatever. Almost as much as that 9 times 2 did to me in that last game. Remember that guy? I remember that guy. How could I forget? I'm gonna... Probably just press that and turn now. There's no way Talos punches through 136 here. Yeah, the more I look at this, though, the more I think that doing the, the etch plus 5 is very bad. And I'd rather do incant plus 1 plus 1. Pull over Kinstone is not that exciting. Take the free ice entire. Endless Hot Shark? Sure. Uh, probably energy, right? Yeah, probably energy because of Echo Infusion. This is energy draw. What we got? I'm gonna go look at the steel shop. We're looking for the you know what. Plus one, plus one. Okay, it's all bad. It's not good. The infusion for Eogorgon is bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not what I wanted. It's first of kin. So we're gonna have to build into consuming now, which is, you know, doable. Also give him plus three per echo. The problem is his three HP. Like 100% the problem here is there's a- no I can't give him that. If I give him that he just dies. Oh man. <laughs> no plus 25. I, like if you play this unit on top four there's a chance he just dies on turn one. 
I can't live with that. I'm gonna save my money. Oh dear. Okay. Alright. I think she'll win too. I suppose. We should really just get past this quick, man. You know it would be like a worse little fate if she had quick, but she would be playable. Help Tethys out. Someone do something for Tethys. I beg you. I'm gonna set up like this and then I'll play Yogorg in top four. Like so. And Yogorg can just kill. Hopefully not die here. Wow. Well. <laughs> no, uh, no playing a spell up there. I'll just kill your eel gorgon. I will. Okay, here, I guess. Maybe I just let eel gorgon die there and don't take the two higher damage because I anticipate this combat is not a challenge, but. Oh no, man. There's Echo Infusion. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. This is the safe line where I trade 2 higher HP for a guarantee that we don't die. Yeah, 30 card deck with uh, no card draw. Hate to see it, huh? You do not love to see it. We just start throwing Echo Infusions at this guy. It's an option. Get the shark up 40 HP per round, they'll just start killing bosses for you. It's doable. Shark actually goes top four though. And gets Echo Infusion because there's no reason not to do it. Yeah, with that spell pain on that card, it's four in camps for- oh, the boss just dies. <laughs> I didn't see that. Hold over Preserve, which is purple, that's kind of cool, but it doesn't consume. This card got removed consumed! Oh my god. The Permafrost Frenzied Swarm is okay, because I could, like, hold it for a turn I need it. But I think I just skip it. Yeah, Broken Memories is the card here. And maybe Echo... Oh wait, hold over Echoes of the Past, right? Hang on a second now. Hold the phone. But, like, the problem is that's three holdovers and an Endless. I'm gonna be not drawing enough cards for purples here. If I had holdover... Uh... What was that card? What's that card? Eternal Kinstone. If I had hold over on that, I would probably pick it. the Echoes, but I'm gonna pick Broken Memories here. And now... I'm gonna go to the Trinket Shop. I know you might think Steel Shop here, but... I would really like to see... Karuska. Maybe. In case Divinity? I don't need that. Like, or, like, something, something, right? I just, I don't think I need anything. I mean, I do need something here, but... Wing Steel, my greatest foe. It is pretty tempting. I took energy. This deck is light on draw. Um. Oh, oh man, like, how could it possibly fuck me over here, though, right? Like, how in the world could it possibly be bad? I can't imagine it. Can you imagine it? Because I, I actually, I can't think of it. It has to be, okay, Wingsteel, this is your fucking chance. This is your chance, Wingsteel. Don't let me down. This is your redemption arc. I'm also going to take Echo Seedling, because Echo Seedling sets us up with infinite etches here. With Broken Memories, you can just Broken Memories, and then you get three Broken Memories, and you just go Broken Memories, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, Broken Memories, forever. I could do it with Spell Chain, too, but the Spell Chain, uh, the addition of Spell Chain doesn't actually add anything. And what I should actually do is I should give it Intrinsic. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm watching- I'm warning you, Wingsteel, this is your final chance at redemption. Heaven Seal... probably doesn't frighten me. This is it, Wingsteel, you fuck me over here, you're out for good, you're off the team forever. You're permabanned. So we start with Broken Memories, and then you Broken Memories... Oh yeah, that does make sense. 
Hey, where did it go? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I, okay. The animation of it getting discarded played and then, it, like while that animation was playing, it drew it. I see. Wow, that was weird. That was kind of goofy. It's actually really good here. Wow, Echo. Echo sorry, wow, Wing Steel. This is actually really good. Maybe the best it's ever been. Huh. Because I just play. I just play Broken Memories a bunch with it. Now, there is a problem, which is I am basically at a standstill with my draw. My draw is basically halted while I do this. And so at some point you have to stop it, unless I draw Echo Infusion. I guess the other problem is that my frontline here is Tethys, but, you know, that's a problem for someone else to deal with. Yeah, armor is worthless on this unit. It's stealth boss, so I don't have to worry about the health of my Eel Gorgon. I just have to have Tethys the tank deal with this. I mean, you could just play it like this, it's fine. 75 times 5? I don't know, man. This seems terrible. This seems awful. I love it. And then we broken memories, broken memories, broken memories, broken memories. It's... it's pretty grim. Oh, do you kill yourself? Hey, cut it out. What a shitty way to lose. You have to one hit it? There you go. You probably have actually given some health to this unit. I mean, that one that one would be on me. I just wasn't paying attention. I was thinking I was safe, like I'm some sort of oh, freaking fool. Thought I was safe from randomly dying to two spikes. Imagine. Imagine being so naive. Tethys the tank, man. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Th this is, like, criminal. We shouldn't be doing this, but also 100 times 8 hold this. That is not the relic I want to see here. Rationing scales? Hell no. Preserve? Man, they just keep showing me holdovers. I don't want these cards to be held over. I want consumes, but I don't need them, actually. I don't need Ancient Resonance either. We're good. I'm good here. I go right because I want to do a Shark Self-Infusion. I think so. And give it a Train Steward. We are going to have to hold two Sharks for a while, but that's okay. One extra card's infused. These are all really bad. I don't want any of this. Just give me the money. That's a disappointing relic. I'm looking for one of the good relics. Like, can you please pass me a cool worm can? I mean, we got we got one of the good relics. We got we got Echo Seedling. I really can't complain. I suppose, but like, can you just give me one of the good ones? Oh yeah, I don't care. Oh no, I rallied my unit with zero attack. He's dazed. I have more money. Don't play Offering Token here. What if I draw my Eel Gorgon on one, one energy? Not be good is the answer to the what if. The hypothetical answer is that would be terrible. I don't care about you. You're meaningless. Okay, here's your pop-off turn. You go boom, boom, boom. Ah, no, why did it scroll? What the hell? I'll send one over here. Sometimes it does that. I think it might be my mouse wheel, but I like to blame Monster Train, because, you know. I blame Monster Train. Boom, boom. And you just keep it rolling. I'm etching and I'm incanting. I don't care that I gave this enemy 100 attack or 100 armor. Don't come up here. No, you're not allowed up here. Or in case you're banned. 
Again, I'm like trapped. I'm drawing no cards at this point, but I don't think I care. I don't think I have to care. I'm giving Tethys 40 HP per round. I'm incanting like seven times. I'm etching. Like, I don't think I have to care. Just make sure there's a broken memories on top. Yeah, you're getting... We're getting 15 attack per round, and we're getting the 8 incants, and we're getting 40 health. It seems like it has to be good, right? Now, what the hell am I doing? Why'd I play that? What's this guy doing? That was not a great idea. However, look at this Tethys, man. Look at this Tethys, 211 HP Tethys. You ever seen anything like this before? Have you ever seen a Tethys so formidable? I know I haven't. You go, little fish girl. You got this. This is the dub for- this is the, this is the classic Tethys W right here. Just another day at the Tethys office right here. This is the- Tethys, get down. Let the shark take this. What a nightmare. What an absolute nightmare of a run. I love it. Spike of the Stygian is okay. I don't think I need it, though. I think I just take... I, I need to get this deck into a more manageable state. And by more manageable, I mean I need to draw my... I need to draw my consumes. Not my consumes, my spell chains fast. And I'll probably even duplicate for it. We'll see. Let's go Team Shark. Now, if there's no plus 25 in this shop, I will be unhappy. There is a plus 25. There's also a large stone, which is actually significantly better because I don't... I have Tethys, the frontliner. I lose the ability to play Shark and Relentless on top floor, but I think it's worth it for 40 HP. Give Shark a plus 25, and then we're chilling on that front. These are worthless. Yeah, I don't need a tome. They're all very bad. I did say, what if I could give Tethys quick, but that's not really uh, so relevant here. I'm gonna get rid of the card that's gonna screw me over the most, which is probably... Eh, I just get rid of Frozen Ice. I was gonna say get rid of Offering Token, but like... Eh, whatever. It shouldn't really matter. Don't forget to upgrade Tethys. Tethys is our tank, so I should probably take her to 6 HP here. Tethys is going to die. I guess I don't care. When you get right down to it, I guess it really doesn't make a difference, does it? Tethys dies or lives. It'd be nice if Tethys lives, but... Probably won't. She's frontlining, I'm not letting Tethys off the hook here by any means. Tethys is our frontliner. Curses suck. Oh yeah, man, the shark output is not looking great. You have to, if you ping your own shark here, though, you will kill this guy in two turns, which is worth it. I'm noticing. Kill these incants in two turns. Sorry, Pathus. It's been a pleasure. This is what I would say if it was a pleasure. Get the hell away from me, Tethys. There's my Echo Infusion right on time. Probably need to be a little more careful about throwing. I, basically what I need to do is I need to stop until I have my Echo Infusions. I need to stop it. That's all. I have to, I have to stop uh, slamming it like this because it's going to put me in this position where I might just draw late and die. I think actually I just hold. You'll see. It'll like I'm probably not putting this into words very well, but I just have to use the permafrost on broken memories to make it so that I don't send it right away, so that I can actually draw cards. Because drawing cards is kind of important to reach Echo Infusion, which is the whole point of the deck. Although if Tethys dies, I do get to play the Shark on top four, which is good. That is a body. Eat some rage. 
Total health is all that really matters here. Why did I put armor on a unit that doesn't keep armor? Yeah, good question. Yeah, but total health on the board. The total health is all that matters here is me saying it doesn't matter if I'm putting um, health on Eogorgon or on the shark. My turn, it's fine. Eogorgon kills you in one hit now. Goodbye. There have been three holdover preserves in this run. That is too many preserve holdovers. I do not want them. Worm Connections lets you play more consumes, but I don't need it. I don't feel. I go left. Ariska, maybe? Cuddlebeard's pretty good. I have a lot of money, so Guild Marker might end up being worth it, but. Probably isn't. But I bought it anyway. Wow, those aren't good. No Kariska, no Bog Slime. I mean, I guess they wouldn't really do anything for me. I just wanted them. Double Stack Shelter, not really that useful either. Minus one. Or put on Old Magic. I could just buy removals, though. Guardian's Amulet is pretty worthless here. Uh, echo Breaks are pretty bad. Let me get rid of as many Echo Breaks as I can afford to. Is it Patient Seraph? Man, that sucks. I don't want to fight Patient Seraph. I'm gonna grab a third Echo Infusion here. It's the only card that really matters to draw, so... The third one seems pretty good. Anything interesting in here? Nah. Let's do it. Me versus Patient Seraph. We had a Sap Seraph in the last run. Then there was a nine times two. I would say wing steel. I mean, there's a lot of things I could title this episode. Let's start with that. There's a lot of things we could call this episode: the wing steel redemption arc, uh, Ink Tethys. Uh, don't go top where you. Right, I'm so upset it turned me into soldier boy. Tethys is dead. There's no saving Tethys here. So, what are we doing? Good question. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hard to keep up with this, I fear. I'm coming to Broken Memories on the other turns. Goodbye, Tethys. Thank you for your service. 64 is a lot of damage, though. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to use Shark to buffer. And then we can draw some broken memories here, get our attack scaling going. I think you buffer the hit with Shark. Oh no, leave Ice Tornado in my hand. Okay, so, because the melee weakness will diffuse, it'll go away, it's not a problem. So I can just drop the Shark here. He can start tanking. And I will throw him the Echo Infusions. I drew them all. Alright. But what I do here now is I just don't play Broken Memories. Yeah, 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 this is what the floor is supposed to look like, definitely. I stop because I don't want to incant the boss too much, and I just chill. <laughs> He'll die, but we have our Eogorgon at 83. We can just machine gun out Broken Memories. I feel like I'm drawing enough cards now, too. Like, I feel like I'm drawing way too many cards, even. But, you know. So, now, on this turn, I was actually thinking I could probably go... I'm going to have to play some spells, right? I was thinking about that, first of all. I think I just go... I don't want to play Shelter, because it messes... Like, having the second card in the Broken Memories loop is just bad. Not bad, like it's not good for me, but it's bad because I have to think too much and I don't want to do that. Now, here is the other thing. I want to make sure that the shark doesn't live. I need him to reset his HP, right? What a hand. 
There you go. And then when the, when it stops putting damage into Eogorgon, we give Eogorgon more health. I think this is fine. I think we have no problems here. It's just a lot of playing cards. Yeah, this shark has 270. No problem. The problem that's making this run take so long, you can see me moving my hand like this. When Spellchain procs, it, uh, it causes a lockout on your cards. You can't play something while an animation is playing in Monster Train, uh, like Spellchain. Uh, you can when it's putting cards in your deck, but when it's putting cards in your hand, you can't play cards. So this leads to us having to watch this lockout animation every time and go, man, would love to be able to play a card here, huh? Alright, I'm done. I'm not watching this fucking animation anymore. I'm done, I'm done. So yeah, I think we actually just throw Tethys to the wolves. I think we say goodbye to Tethys. Thank you for your service, Tethys. Let Tethys go. Place Eogorgon top four. Place Shark bottom four. When Shark dies, Shark migrates to top four to tank. That's probably the way forward here. Good turn one. Here, Tethys, you can go live with the Shark until the Shark dies. How's that sound? And we're gonna wait on scaling our attack. Goodbye, Tethys. Yeah, I mean, wow, we have all the Echo Infusions already. Great news. I mean, terrible news because I have to watch this animation play a bunch of times. But great news because I have all of my cards. We reach the end game very fast. Like so. You may as well do all the enchants here, because it's uh, it's uh, more damage, is what it is. And we love more damage here. But, sadly I do have to click accept now. It's like a really annoying run for watching animations play. Bring back a shelter. Reminds me a little bit of playing Morsel Maid. Where you're just watching the morsel made animation or the morsel make animation play out. I haven't played that unit in so long. I can't remember the last time I played morsel made actually. Oh, it's still select. Okay, so playing shelter is bad because it just adds to my mental stack here. Gross, but not a big deal. I can do it. Uh, this where we go broken memories first and then you know just keep it rolling here i'll encant enough times to kill i'm sure yeah look at that it actually just goes plows right through this entire wave cleans them up i have slowed myself down a little bit but if i play no it's not quite right I played the curse first. If I didn't play the curse first, I could have gotten another etch out of this. Yeah, it's a pretty minor thing. I wonder if I could see about... I'm probably not going to put time into modding Monster Train, but if there was a way to skip that animation lock... Man, that would feel good. That would feel so good. I could just slam these Echo Infusions out as fast as possible. It's a pretty small thing that doesn't really come up all that often, but when it does come up, it's like, man, I hate this. Really don't like animation locking. But, like, this run is over. This run is very done. It's not a tactical question anymore. It's just a question of how much time do I spend clicking on cards now, waiting for the run to end. There was actually a point in time where I thought about... Uh, if I ever had a run get to this position, I thought about making it so that I just ended the video and didn't let the run play out, which, like, uh, for many reasons is obviously not a good idea. And I would not- I'm not going to do that. But I thought about it because, like, man, this shit used to really dig into me. Where you're just watching these animations go and go and go. I think Monster Trans adds best when you're playing, like, really thin, down-to-the-wire decks where it's like, oh, man. Like, the run that we had not too long ago, where to finish the, the run and kill the divinity, I had to migrate my entire floor to bottom floor for Relentless. I think it was a bur the Burnout Horn Warrior line I played with Rector last time. That's like, that's where I feel like Monster Frame really thrives. Should've let that play out like that, I bet that would've been an interesting one right there. 
because I was going to kill the divinity out of my units die, so he's going to have to die to frostbite. I mean, I guess it is end frostbite per hit. Yeah. Anyway. That's that. Yeah. I mean, this, this is the problem with Morsel Maid, too. I just haven't played Morsel Maid in like 200 episodes for some reason. That unit has not showed up for me in a long time. Which, honestly, if I had to pick a unit to never see again, I might pick Morsel Maid. I might. That shit's like... Buddy. Let me do 32 minutes. Hey, not that bad. Under 35, even with all those animations. It just feels longer because I had an 11 minute uh, unlucky one at the start. I think, in my mind, I've set the target goal for a run to be 35 minutes. Anything over 35 minutes, it better be a good-ass run. That's all I'm saying. It better be like a real thinker. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.